So we've got a great matchup coming up here. SK Gaming versus Flipside Tactics. SK Gaming previously uh, complained. Uh, I'm pretty pumped about what we're going to see. This has been traditionally quite the matchup. Yeah, and it's uh, indicative of things to come. I know we talked a lot about that in the last game, just this matchup in particular, because this really will decide, honestly, not only the number one team in Europe, but it could very well decide the number one team in the world. You know, these are, Flipside has been that team. They've been that dominant number one team in the world for a very long time now, for, well, very long in terms of Rocket League esport history. Um, but SK Gaming, formerly Complain, have come out of nowhere, and, well, practically out of nowhere, <laughs> and just run roughshod. And SK picking them up recently has been just massive. Like, that is a huge score. Yeah, that's a, that's a big uh, eSport organization. You can see a lot of these teams in Europe starting to pick up some really good uh, sponsorships right now for uh, NA, I Buy Power Cosmic, about the mm -hmm. only team with a very notable uh, sponsor. So really cool to see SK getting involved in, you know, picking up a you know, really great team, arguably the number one team in uh, mm -hmm. Europe. So uh, this is going to be a pretty important matchup here, seeing uh, who <laughs> moves on uh, in the winners. Yeah, and very well could uh, will probably not be the last time we see these two teams. Based off the performance we've seen so far, it's very likely if one of them gets sent to the lower bracket, they'll fight their way right back up into the top again. So it'll be fun to see. That's yeah. all I can say. And this is going to be a great kind of preview of what's really to come here. And uh, I got to say, if Complain takes, or sorry, if SK Gaming takes this series, that might be the tilt. Like that may be the big thing that ultimately puts them into that number one position. And if they win the whole tournament, well, it just secures it. You know, there's so much we're going to have to look at after this uh, after this tournament. But, you know, I'm really impressed by how SK has performed lately. Their showing last week was just mind-blowing. You know, for Absolutely. anybody who missed last week, SK Gaming, then known as Complain, came from the lower bracket and beat Flipside in two back-to-back -back best of five series to win that tournament. So, yep, so we are going to try to join in this lobby here. We're going to go to a, a just keep uh, going on this short break here. We've got this uh, SK Gaming versus Flipside coming up, guys. Just stay tuned, and we will be right back with the match. All right, so we're moving in here. We've got uh, Flipside versus SK Gaming. This is going to be pretty awesome. I'm super pumped. Can't wait to see how this one turns out. Complain or previously complain. Now SK Gaming has gotten the best of Flipside in the past matchup, so we'll see if they can do it again. Yeah, they are uh, certainly dealing with a very challenging team here in terms of Flipside tactics. You know, it, it is... Or sorry, in terms of complain or SK gaming, whatever you want to call them, they have been they have had Flipside's number since last week, plain and simple. They beat them twice there. They've beaten them at Gfinity on Friday. Uh, this has been Flipside's albatross, is trying to get past SK gaming, and uh, I don't know. I don't really know what to expect quite here. Mike rules at least now, rocking his usual moniker, not just Mike this time. So uh, I think they're taking business a little bit seriously. They know that the uh, there's a lot at stake against this team. So. Absolutely. And you can see all these uh, Dudu and uh, Yemen and X3MW also sporting SK in front of their name now. So that's pretty neat. Uh, but uh, full strength flip side team is pretty scary. Although we are seeing 
SK putting a lot of pressure on, controlling the boost here at the half and keeping this ball in uh, in flip side zone. So good offensive pressure so far by SK. We're going to go on board with Dudu and see how uh, he helps oh. his spot here. And a great shot, but it's off the backboard. That was close. Just, uh, yeah, <laughs> extremely close there. And that Mike one sneaks it in. He really did. And I think he took that kind of off the roof of uh, of X3MW there. Yeah, he but. just hammered that into the net. X3 not able to hint that out. So a great, uh, great pressure there by Flipside. Um, you know, it looked like they were in a little bit of trouble at the beginning there with SK putting on all that pressure, but a great response from Flipside, and they take this early 1-0 lead. Yeah, and that's something good Flipside's good at. And look at oh, Coots and another wide open. Oh, just a slow floating shot there. Beautiful setup here. We'll watch it one more time. Comes off the wall by Mike Rules, who plays it then to center, and Kooks here just touches it just enough to float it into net. Yeah, so beautiful right now, second touch. Yeah, I mean, the big thing, Flipside is just taking SK out of position, and you're seeing that a lot. They're getting right through that defensive line. They're getting offensive chances on net. You know, SK was getting a few chances early on, but they were getting turned aside pretty rapidly. So maybe a little bit of rejuvenation here for Flipside after that big 3-0 win over IBP Cosmic could be enough to maybe uh, reclaim their throne, so to say, and be that dominant EU team that they are typically. Oh, so a great save there uh, by Yemen popping that out. But you're right, uh, Flipside looking pretty scary and 3-0ing Cosmic, that's no joke. So a really uh, good start here by Flipside. You can see them putting on some great pressure. Although, oh, SK puts it in. Beautiful bit of back and forth too. Look at this. Goes from Dadu, plays it for it. SK sends her. Jeez. X3 sends it back and then picks off that little bit of bouncing ball rebound to finally put SK on the board and uh, make this a little more of an interesting affair. So it's not quite lopsided for Flipside yet. They're not going to have an easy run against SK Gaming, but I don't think anybody expected them to either. So, <laughs> Yeah, that was quite a beautiful setup there. Great pressure from SK, continually keeping that ball in on net. So SK is not laying down. They are coming back right into this game, only down one goal with plenty of time left to tie it up. Oh, it was a big little setup there for SK, but they got taken out of position. Arky Duda directs a shot that goes just wide there. But SK turning it back around. The big thing with uh, SK here is they can take advantage of some holes in Flipside's defense because they commit so hard forward to these attacks. If they can just break that, that line, then they have a wide open net to pick apart. Yeah, I mean, Cook's here doing a good job forcing that ball uh -oh. in and a wide open oh, shot for Mike. No one there. Speaking of taking advantage of wide open nets, just look at this. Oh, Bad deflection. <laughs> yeah, Mike Rules was right there. He's like, oh, I'll just gently tuck this into the net like he's putting that ball to sleep. So Flipside coming out in this game looking very strong. The, the matchup you can kind of see... Oh, sorry, I want to take a moment there because God only knew where that shot was going to go. But, uh, yeah, you can see the Flipside, you know, in terms of gameplay, it's fairly even. But then you've got Flipside who's just getting better shots on net and some big mistakes, I think, by SK here is kind of why we are, you know, seeing the result we're seeing right now. So, uh... Very good start here by the lead gets extended. <laughs> Mike rules with his hat trick gets his third goal of the game. And it is just another layup. No one there for SK and Mike just dunks it in. Cooks here was just stopped in the middle of the field. <laughs> Nobody was not doing anything if they still managed to extend the lead now. So pretty comfortable game one here, I think for flip side. Very interesting show. I thought I expected a little bit differently, but you know, just because SK is capable of beating Flipside doesn't necessarily mean that they're capable of beating them handedly. <laughs> yeah, we, and we've seen it before where a team will just dominate one game and Marky oh, almost gets it in. Where a team will dominate one game and then uh, the next game, you know, the other team responds. So we'll have to keep an eye on SK to see how they handle this shellacking in this game by flip side yeah, and then speaking of that we've seen that a lot from flip side you know they're known for dropping like the first game of a series only to come back and look like their usual dominant self in later games so i could see that happening here 
and did Tattoo. Do, you know, getting a. You know, it's still not unfeasible now that to do is yeah. put this goal in that SK can't score two quick goals. Crazy things can happen on faceoff. So, uh, flip side, they don't have this one completely. They need to just finish this one out. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> potentially an overtime game could get forced if they don't. Uh, oh, well, never mind. Oh, uh, yep. <laughs> that uh, that kind of seals the deal here, I think. Uh, Beautiful sling there by Mark. You can see he get the ball right there. Oh, he didn't even sling. He just powerful shot. Great, great shot by Marky. Sealing the deal. Only 30 seconds left. Three goal lead. I think we can safely say flip side is going to go up 1-0 in this winner's bracket final. Certainly looks that way. And uh, just look at this nice little back and forth here. It does get disrupted by Dadu, but... I don't know. Flip side looking very good here in game one. Back to kind of their former self. Maybe... You know, the results what? we've seen lately. <laughs> okay. What a fake here. Look at this. Marky knew that he could not get a hit on this ball, but him going for that could have messed up the other players. Look at that. So, well, there's no one there to really block it. <laughs> so, yeah. But still a good a good fake there by Marky. And maybe uh, one of the uh, players from SK would have tried to get a little bit different position had they thought he wasn't going to hit it. But 6-2 uh, looks to be flip side, taking this commanding victory. And SK is really going to have to bring their A game in this uh, next game coming up. Otherwise, it could be another 3-0 here for Flipside. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. The scoreline, I think, is a little deceptive as to how tilted this game is. Uh, I don't think it's quite, in terms of just overall play, the blowout that the scoreline shows. Uh, a few of those goals were just huge mistakes on the part of SK. A uh, little, not the typical standard, but, I mean... I don't want to take anything away from Flipside, of course. That was just an outright dominating performance in terms of goal scoring. I mean, look at the shots on net alone. You know, those yeah. are 13 total <laughs> shots on net versus six. And look at the SK. two assists across the board for for Flipside. That's that's pretty awesome. <laughs> just yeah. all, all around great performance by these players. Uh, one of the things Flipside known for, like you're talking about, is just that all-out, well-rounded offense where all the players are equally as, uh, you know, dangerous uh, on the offensive side of the ball. But SK, you know, you, you could see that they do have the ability, that one goal that they had where they continued to pass it around and off the backboard, uh, they that was a that was a sick goal. So SK definitely yeah. has the ability, and they've beat Flipside before, so I wouldn't be surprised to see SK bounce back from this. But uh, at the same time, Flipside operating at 100% uh, strength is pretty darn scary. Yeah, they are, uh, you know, they're a difficult team to contend with. And I was very surprised the last few times I'd seen Flipside play. They did not look at their usual form, but it seems like they've found their rhythm again. A little bit of mid-air collision there. Good stop, I guess, by Marky Duda. Couldn't get the ball sent out, but at least stopped that aerial from happening. So flip side up 1-0 in this series. SK trying to uh, come back here and take the second game and even up the series. We're going to go on board with Yemen, who appears to be parking the car. Oh. Mike Rule <laughs> dunks it in. You can't park the car there. That's the worst parking space possible. you got to be alert when you are in the net, and Mike Rules punishes that lack of attention yeah, with a yeah. very nice-looking goal. Yeah, you've got to wonder. Yemen is known for uh, some distasteful antics. Hopefully this isn't more of that. Uh, it doesn't look to be. It looks like he is back. And uh, flip side, though, kind of taking advantage of Yemen, setting down his controller. Who knows? Maybe he was getting takeout. We've seen that happen before yeah. in Rocket <laughs> Royale. So. Can't remember the takeout controversy, of course. <laughs> takeout gate 2015. Yeah. Take gate, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So Either we're going to go on board with Cooks here. here. Uh, yeah, and it looks like Yemen. Uh, can't you see? There we go. We'll see if uh, they decide to play it out. It's past the amount of time that they had to restart. So Flipside has the ability to uh, continue to play this one through. And we've seen Yemen try to pull this stuff before. So we'll see what happens. Wouldn't blame Flipside for just saying no, play it out. Yeah, it is their call. You know, they, they did have the position before the disconnect happened or whatever happened there. Uh, and now the second goal or just bringing this lead further could take this second game and uh, force SK to fight their way back up through the lower bracket once again. Yep, and I would say, in all honesty, if I were flip side, I'd do the same, especially with a player that has done this in the past. Um, 
you can't keep rewarding that. So it's a good job by Flipside just continuing to stick this out, following the rules. I think that's uh, good in the long run. So uh, we'll see if Yemen can join back up or if SK's sub can get back in here before it gets too out of hand. But until then, X3 and Adu will be playing two on three and Marky puts in a third goal. So this uh, game two looking pretty good for Flipside. Yeah, so far, uh, just, you know, getting good positioning here. I mean, you know, it's a little hard to gauge because they are playing three on two. So, it, you know, there are some teams that can play exceptionally well, even in 2v3. There was a time not very long ago where Swarm actually made a very solid tournament run with just Pashi and uh, Stocky. We're, we're in on that. That's how long ago it was. Yeah, that's kind but, of like a part of Rocket League lore now. I remember yes, hearing yeah. about that. But the problem is, is that they didn't have to do that against Flipside Tactics. <laughs> yeah. So when you have to do that against Flipside, I don't really care how talented you are. You're kind of going to get picked apart because they are that good. So I don't know what the approach is going to be here. We're, we're kind of slowing things down. You can even see Flipside. They're not playing quite at their full velocity. Yeah, they might but, just uh, be trying to uh, let the time run out on this one, get into the next game. Uh, and then just try to finish off SK, which uh, seems to be a good strategy here. Almost another really good <laughs> dribble pass into the mid there. Yeah, it is really difficult when you've only got two players there to try and shut down all the angles that Flipside can, can give you. So as it stands right now, I mean, they're doing a pretty good job, even considering where we're at, that it's only 3-0 and they've actually managed to do some pretty nice defensive stops here. The fact that they're still going is actually pretty good on the part of SK. Yeah, you got to feel bad for X3 and do, and to do though. You know, Yemen has in the I think is it in the last two events tried to you know buy more time for his team to kind of recover, and uh, really this time it's not paying off for him as he's left his guys two versus three. So you got to feel bad for X3 and to do having to be in this situation. I know. Uh, it's got to be incredibly frustrating because you just want to play and you want to have uh, a chance at winning every game and really two on three, there's no hope. So, Yeah, you, you want to play and you really just want to win. You know, yeah. That's something that SK has been working on so hard lately. They've made such a dominating position in these last couple weeks. So they really don't want to have to lose games for little stupid things. You know, If they're going to lose, then they want to lose evenly and fairly because they got beat, but not because they're getting run roughshod because it's only two on three, you know? Yep. That's and not the kind of loss SK wants. <laughs> yeah, two on three is just so difficult because if you ever want to do anything on offense, you need two players up there to work it. And if there's one clear that goes on net, you're pretty much guaranteed to get scored on. So really, uh, SK just playing it out. If they get a goal, yeah. I'll eat a slice of bread. <laughs> and you I have to play that on screen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, we're not going to wait no months between yeah, your yeah, props yeah, right. and like, like psionics did. Get some good pumpernickel. Oh, God. There's nothing. I don't think anything good about pumpernickel. <laughs> anyway, another so, goal here by yep. flip side. 5 0 is your score line. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think SK is really going to pull much out of this or even get a goal on. It's just. And, and that's no surprise. This is flip side tactics. This is not you know, some rinketing team in the round of 256 in ESL who just happened to come together for a Sunday. This is the number one team in the world, and I think Kooks did a pretty good job of actually saving that shot, yeah. <laughs> which looked like it was just going to roll in, so maybe just a little bit of mercy. It looks, like, uh, it looks like he has some mercy, but Marky and Mike... <laughs> yeah, uh, no, they're, they're changed, not really capable yeah. of mercy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're going they for blood here. And that's fair, you know. You got to give that... Uh, that kind of attitude to these games. Just play the same way you played from minute one all the way to the very end. You know, don't change your strategy just because some player happens to not be there. Yep. I and mean, they are they are showing the flip side of Cleveland of Mercy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> we're still scoring, but we're not going to play as fast or as hard as we usually do. Yeah, and we'll probably wait after this game to get in the sub or uh, Yemen himself. We'll see what's happening there. But uh, it looks like it's going to be... Two games here for flip sign and Marky trying to get that uh, shot there. Oh, please don't score. All right. Oh, uh, there we go. X3MW breaks the clean sheet. That's good. I'll there take we go. that. Great stuff there going all the way back into the net. So I will eat a piece of bread sometime in the future. <laughs> sometime in the future. Yeah, it will never happen. <laughs> 
Some, you know, somebody like, or has James eaten his bread? That's yeah, the, well, that's the <laughs> web. <laughs> yeah. A little zero second time doesn't result in anything further. So six one five one. Sorry, is your score line in a three two? Uh, I guess I don't know. I, I don't really know what to make of this game. I don't want to call it a shellacking because it was three two, but I mean, I guess it kind of was. So <laughs> yeah, we'll see if. Uh... They will be playing two versus three in game three, or if Yemen will come back. I mean, we can at least say that, you know, if if Yemen doesn't come back, if they're going to sub him out for Jazer, he was their third last week. So we know that Jazer is a very formidable player and is capable of, of being that in that dominant role. Um, and I think that could be actually a very nice combination of players, to be perfectly honest. X3 has been, like, the MVP for SK in, in terms of just, you know, their overall play. So he, the fact that he's still around is probably a really good sign. Um, Dadu is sort of in that alternate role. It's either him or Jazer in that third role. So, uh, you oh, know. We just got an update here. I buy Power Cosmic moves into the lower bracket semifinal with a 3-0 win over dot 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 so cosmic bouncing back with a clean sweep of dot 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 and uh we're gonna see some great losers bracket stuff coming up it'll be interesting to see how cosmic plays against his, i wonder if it will it be uh will it be sk but uh, anyway it's gonna be a, a great match so cosmic bouncing back after getting 3-0'd by flip side with a 3-0 of their own against dot 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 yeah that's a little bit surprising that dot 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 kind of got taken out so abruptly so to say, um, I am really, I mean, this certainly is going to affect bracket position and things like that, uh, or I should say power ranking position, you know, dot, 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 finishing fourth last week. Uh, but yeah. it does mean that the opening is there for, uh, IBP cosmic to claim one of those auto qualifier spots. So chances just got better for double tap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. So yeah, we lost uh, we we lost to Kings of Urban in our uh, in game five. So Kings of Urban lost to Cosmic in game five. So some good matchups there. But yeah, it's definitely tough having to fight your way through Cosmic aftershock um, in the qualifier. And I, I believe they have now qualified for Rocket Royale next week. Um, is that I, I we'll have to double check on that. But uh, Cosmic fighting their way into the top four as the top four teams from this event automatically qualify for the next event. Yep, so it looks like uh, Jazer is indeed taking that uh, that third spot, so Yemen is out, Jazer is in, and uh, I still think this is a very seriously challenging SK team. Because yeah. we know what these guys are capable of, so. But now they're gonna have to win uh, basically sweet flip side to stay uh, or to move on to the grand final. So this is the winner's bracket final. The winner of this match is moving into the grand finals oh. and Mike rules out of the gate, says that is gonna be us. Do whatever you want, but Mike <laughs> rules is just gonna set the bar here that this is still their yard. Yep, right off the backboard. He passed it to himself, read it beautifully off the backboard and slammed it in, got there first. So a great shot by Mike rules, putting his team up 1-0, setting the tone for this game. SK has to be feeling demoralized after that whole situation there with Yemen. you got to feel bad for Dudu and X3. That's got to be very frustrating. And now uh, fighting for their life in this winner's bracket and not getting off to a great start as Mike had that amazing shot. So we'll have to see how SK responds, and they're doing a good job right now of keeping the ball. And the zone, an opportunity there to do, bouncing it right off the hood of Markey. Yeah, taking that position. Here's a good opening here for SK, but no, Flipside gets to it first. So, oh man, that almost was incredible there. <laughs> <laughs> and just trying to, and it looks like both teams are just kind of trying to figure something out, especially SK. They've had to obviously change their approach to this game a little bit. You know, when you get a new sub in in the middle of the tournament, in the middle of a series, let alone, uh, it can be very difficult to kind of regroup and figure out, okay, who exactly is doing what? Where are we going to typically position ourselves how do we want to approach this but uh, obviously three great players more than capable of making a solid run here but uh flip side oh, a great opportunity oh. for jazer 
the ball floating right across mid and a gr great uh, pass by X3 actually bounces it off Marky's head to Jazer who's in the mid and dunks that in. Great positioning by Jazer ready for that cross. Yeah, excellent setup there. So SK gets on the board, ties this game up and uh, wants to make this game a much more competitive one. And I certainly believe that they can do that. We're going to go on board with Jazer who scored the last goal. He gets a phenomenal clear off the wall. That's not an easy hit to do. And he just uh, saved his team. So the hassle of having to play defense by a great clear off the wall. But another uh, good response there, although Dudu sending it right back in. So this is a good job by SK keeping the pressure on and a good pass into the middle. So SK having to stay strong here, although Marky just pushes that all the way back into SK zone. So. Good response and a shot on net oh. right into the corner. Cooks here with a great shot. Man, Cooks here when he's not sending like ridiculously distant shots off the wall or something, he just does these little light touches right up close to break past the defense, float it over their heads or float it underneath them. Knows exactly where to put it, just has impeccable ball control. And you see that so frequently in flip side games. Oh, we're seeing some beautiful freestyling there by Cooks here. <laughs> it would have worked well on an open net. But X3 was there to knock that away. If you to, can't do it flashy, you might as well not do it at all. Well, that's so, the way he loves to do it, man. He is that's his style, quite yeah. the flashy player. So X3 going up for that, blocking the clear, doing a good job, using up all his boost. Unfortunately, though, he does grab the corner boost. So a good play by X3 denying the boost for flip side. And you can see it paying oh. off there, but he's not able to score. Good follow up on that rebound. But Marky Dude, I was right there to make the big stop. And that's the problem with flip side is they're constantly in your way. You know, it's hard to get through that wall. Yeah, Good and play back. You can see Dedu stole the boost from Cooks here yet again there. So uh, flip side struggling to get out. Although Marky finally breaks the wall and is able to get the zone in. And uh, it looks like many players for flip side now have full boost. So good scoring opportunity here for flip side. Although Dedu denies that opportunity and puts it back in the flip side zone. Yeah, but right now, I mean, the offensive pressure is really coming on strong for SK. And as I say that, X3MW puts another one in. I mean, you we were just him, seeing yeah. constant pressure. Mike yeah. and Marky both went up on the wall for that. So no, nobody was in net and ready and X3 making them pay. So a little bit of uh, overcommitment by multiple players there by flip sign. And we're tied up 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, much more competitive game, obviously, than last time. Helps when you have even teams. Uh, and it does, you know, show that this is a good formation that SK can work with in a pinch. You know, whatever your feelings, you know, whatever you feel about Yemen aside, he is a very talented player, so he did bring a lot to SK. Uh, but it does show that even in the event that he can't be a part of the team, they do have a good three-man squad to, to kind of work with here. So. Yeah, the the mind games he was trying to, to do, or well, <laughs> the situation that he had, uh, you know, it's like the boy who cried wolf. He might have really had an issue this time, but <laughs> who knows? Yeah, exactly. You never really know for sure. But but uh, SK bouncing back really well. And really, uh, with Jazer, they're playing much better. And they're tied up right now and, and on the brink of taking this game three, which they need to to stay alive in this winner's bracket final. Great defensive play there by Dadu going to take the boost. So we're going to see how SK uh, does on offense. A good pass by X3. Ball continuing to stay in the flip side zone here. So SK having to get the block there. Jazer uses up all his boost. Oh. He isn't able to do much with it. So dangerous spot here. Ball's in the mid. Jazer blasts the oh. two. <laughs> that was risky. Fortunately, he did get the clear to the corner before he got kind of just slammed out of the way. But this is the part where flip side likes to turn it on. They are kings of clutch in many ways. And they love to kind of turn the pressure on late here. Yeah, you can see Jazer trying to work as much as he can, finally picking up boost. But uh, both these teams neck and neck, trying to get some opportunities here to score. Dudu redirects it, not the greatest shot. Cooksier could put that on net. Dangerous ball here. A oh. save by Dudu in the last moments of the game. We are going into overtime. Indeed we are. Not very long for zero second time there. Rule one, as you were, whatever you want to call it. It didn't <laughs> last very long. So now golden goal opportunity for both of these teams. Yep, so we are in overtime. And like you said, the first team to score will take the win. Flip side up 2-0. If SK loses this, they will be moving into the loser's bracket semi, or the, I believe it's the loser's bracket final. 
Uh, yeah, I believe so. So that, that'll send them into the into the loser's bracket final, and then we'll go to the next lower bracket game to see who they face to see who will meet Flipside in the grand final. But we'll see how it plays out. We don't, we don't want to call it for Flipside just yet. We know what SK is capable of. And uh, it has been an extremely close overtime so far. A lot of decent chances being put together. Not a lot directly on net, though, but just some good opportunities for SK to break up these attacks. Oh, oh and a great pass into the mid. It might and be again. a little bit too high. Oh, Kuxir was trying to just give it that little bit of touch that he, he does so well. Just right up close. You know, put the ball in nice and slow like that. It makes it very hard to read. And oh, my gosh. Shot. What a shot. And that's it. Flipside takes it with this beautiful shot. Mike rules with a great pass to the mid. And look at that car manipulation by Kuxir. My goodness. That was phenomenal. Yeah, brilliant shot there by Kuxir. Gets it in net and gives Flipside the 3-0 win here. Uh, and, you know, it, the... This series was so hard to, to, to mess with. Like, it's so hard to figure out because I don't think we would have seen a 3-0 if everything had gone normally. Yeah. And that, <laughs> you know, that, that was a very abnormal bit of, of series. So it, especially game two, obviously, was so heavily tilted being 2-3. Mm -hmm. uh, but either yeah. way, I mean, I will say, you know, despite that, looking at games one and three, we can just take those two samples of two evenly matched games. Mm -hmm. Flipside... They seem to be back in rhythm. I don't know if their losses recently have just been because they've been out of rhythm or just feeling lackluster or losing some of that hype to play. But whatever it is, I feel like they're back on target and they are looking to be that team to stop here in Rocket Royale for sure. Yep, a 3-0 against uh, I Buy Power Cosmic and now 3 0 SK. Uh, arguably their biggest competitors for the number one spot. So uh, now Flipside uh, winning that winner's bracket final. They qualify for the grand finals. So we will for sure see Flipside as the winner in the grand finals, which means that they only have to win one series against whoever makes it through that lower bracket. So Flipside poised uh, to take this, although we have seen Flipside get taken down before in two best of five series by SK. So it's not unthinkable that that could happen again. But really, I agree with you, Shout This flip side is playing out of their minds. And whether that's, you know, Mike trying to, you know, coming back and, and getting back into it and getting another week under his belt of playing with his team again, uh, they, they look very, very formidable. And whoever makes it through the lowers bracket has quite the challenge for them. Yeah, they really do. So it's going to be very competitive here. I mean, I'll be honest. This is a little, little part of me right now that really wants to see Flipside versus Cosmic oh. in the final. Like, there's just like, I want that EUNA. I want that big, you know, final big result here. And I don't know what's going to happen. I'd be excited, honestly, with any final we get because I know what all these teams are capable of. But that final there just has yeah. something really <laughs> in interesting to me. It's one of those things like, I really want to see that. Yeah, that would be so, uh, that would be pretty awesome to see uh, them those two, you know, giants fighting for uh, the number one spot in week four. So I hope that happens too. And uh, in the meantime, we're going to go to a short break. We're going to try to hop into the next match if we can. We'll keep you guys updated and we'll have more Rocket League for you coming up next. So just stay tuned.